This is a, an honor to be here participating in the days of Oris. I would like to thank Oris, especially uh, his director, his president, Andrija Rusan, and uh, his team of collaborators, that is a, 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 a long list. Uh, because during the last years, they always have been with me very generous and very nice. And I can remember the first Oris that uh, was, uh, uh, I have many, many, many issues that I have on my table at this moment, some issues where they mm, support me and help me uh, for many things. When Andrija proposed to me this 20, around 20 minutes of video uh, to, for this, with this occasion, uh, I thought that uh, the, the subject to speak about uh, was logically the light. From always, I had the light like the main, and I propose, I wrote, and I, uh, I insist always that light is um, material, is corpuscular, Phys physics they say is corpuscular, eh? like uh, it's not uh, mysterious, it's mysterious, but on the other hand, it's uh, material, it's corpuscular. And, uh, but lately I are trying to uh, investigate and to underline uh, different as aspects. For example, how the light is not a material stable but in movement. It's always in movement. It's the, the only component of architecture that is in movement. Uh, yesterday I was with my collaborators uh, correcting a video about um, about uh, my last work, future work, that is uh, 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 a very special space into the sea in Mexico, in Jalisco, in El Tecuan, in collaboration with René Gómez. René Gómez is a very good uh, uh, young Mexican architect. And uh, when the light is entering in this space, and trespassing the holes, the skylights, and touching the columns, I like to make a comparison uh, between uh, a piece of architecture and an instrument of music. Music is air. It's curious, the parallelism between uh, an instrument, uh, a musical instrument and uh, an architectural instrument. A musical instrument must be conceived to receive this air, to transform this air, air in movement. And when this movement of the air through this musical instrument, very well tuned, you need to tune the violin or the guitar or the piano. It needs to be tuned. And when it's tuned, it's very well conceived very well constructed and very well tuned to play this musical instrument produces this miracle. In architecture is the same. The light, the light in movement when it's trespassing uh, the space created by an architect, if this space is well conceived, 
is well tuned to tune a, a, a piece of architecture is when you are putting exactly the, the dimension for the holes or for the windows or the skylights or, or not only the scale of the space of the columns of the walls. When it's very well tuned, uh, the sun is entering from the morning until the evening. This miracle, in this case, the miracle of the architecture is produced and you and me, we can cry. And this is my attempt. Uh, this must be our attempt because I am speaking here. Uh, many of, of you, you will be uh, uh, students. Students, attention. You must from the first moment to take care and to, to think in how this material is free and is in movement and many, many, many things. Hmm? You also remember uh, uh, this a, a type of ideas that I learned from Mr. Aparicio. Jesus Aparicio is a young uh, Spanish architect. He is professor in my school. Uh, I am at this moment making some project with him. And when he came back from Colombia uh, after a time with Kenneth Frampton, speaking about stereotomic and tectonic, and I said, what is that? And speaking about the architecture heavy uh, linked to the earth, uh, etc., the stereotomic uh, the stereotomic aspect of the architecture and the tectonic. The tectonic was this architecture, lighter and delicate and so on. And uh, he had said that uh, Frampton was uh, taking these ideas from uh, Gottfried Semper. Gottfried Semper uh, spoke about that with, uh, in a very clear uh, way and it is uh, good to, to to, to think about. And uh, I, uh, using this type of terms, stereotomic and tectonic, I say that light, when the light is in entering in a stereotomic and heavy um, piece, is tensing and tuning and producing this miracle. On the opposite, when the light in movement is entering or trespassing a tectonic uh, piece is like dissolving or uh, everything is disappearing, the continuity of the space is underlined and so on. Uh, it is because it's uh, more visible, the light is more visible when it's entering in a stereotomic piece. It's like um, cracking the space, cracking the shadows, shadows. It is necessary shadows to frame and to underline the power of the light. Light needs shadows to, to, to make visible. In my pieces of architecture, the collection of houses belonging to this type of podium with a piece, a light piece on, on the top, a stereotomic podium with a, um, a tectonic uh, uh, box on the top, or maybe using one more time using God, the Gottfried Semper words, uh, the hat on the cave, huh? and my the Blas House is uh, is my first uh, piece using this type of ideas, and it's very radical and it's very uh, easy, very clear. Uh, the possibility to make visible this this idea. Mm? The Blas House after the Rufo House. And just now we are finishing a house uh, out in the outside uh, of Madrid, the well, we say Villa Rotonda. Eh? Uh, the Casa Rotonda is using exactly the same uh, idea of with a, a podium uh, in this case, in a stone, in a step of concrete, and on the top, a glass uh, um, belvedere capable to 
to to uh, contemplate, to watch the landscape around, uh, completely in a very beautiful result. Um, on the other side, when I am using uh, stereotomic uh, boxes or spaces, like in Caja Granada, in Caja Granada, the main subject is the central space. It's a box, um, a big box in concrete, uh, because I need columns to support the the, the roof uh, and the, the ceiling, the roof with the skylights. Is uh, everything is powerful? Everything is in concrete and is very big, and the light is. Uh, Canning and producing this type of effect that I was uh, telling before, and how the light in movement is caressing, caressing, uh, a, a caress eh, on the columns and the walls, and producing this miracle of the architecture. Mm? Caja Granada was uh, a very special piece in my in my life, in my life like an architect, and um, in many other projects, and just now, uh, also in January or February, uh, I will begin a new project in, in New York, in the States, for uh, Robert, the Robert uh, Ornick Pavilion. is for the Ornick Spano, I made uh, the Ornick Spano house. The only Spano house in Garrison is uh, uh, it belongs to this family of uh, pieces with the Belvedere on the top of uh, of the podium. But this Robert Only Pavilion is belongs to this uh, collection of this family of stereotomic piece trespassed by the light. Uh, I use. I am using in New York, in this uh, new pavilion for the Museum of Olni Gespano uh, family, that is the, the name Magazzino, uh, for contemporary, contemporary arte povera italiana. And it's, it's a magnificent collection. The main building is made by Miguel Quismondo, a very good architect. We, he was my collaborator in the in the house in Garrison, and after he is the architect who made the museum, and just now the extension of the museum is this pavilion, this Robert uh, Olnick pavilion. Uh, uh, I am making uh, this one with Miguel Quismondo in collaboration. I am very happy, and it's a cube, a big cube, in this case white, uh, with the corners. Well, I broke the cor every corner, the, the eight corners in a cube uh, are broken in an isometric way. It's, uh, it's very easy to see, to see in the images. And like a first, a first uh, approach, when I built a tomb in Venice, a little piece, a cube, uh, six by six by six meters, uh, for Adalberto Mestre family, I made the, this operation. Uh, the material was concrete, concrete uh, in the interior and the exterior. And it was a tomb, and the light is entering in a uh, sublime way. And in the center was floating a white box with the with the asses and the result is uh, you can see the images is fantastic and after this first approach in a bit in a in a little piece uh, we are making a big piece for for this museum in New York. Mm, I think uh, is enough uh, for today for this. Uh, the demand that, that uh, Andriha Rusan, very kind, was demanding me uh, for these uh, 20 years of Oris, 
uh, and I'm kind of more than to repeat thank you, thank you, thank you.